It's fun to see how art forms keep getting reinterpreted. Today we're going to learn about the Japanese artist Yayoi Kusama. Uh, let's say it again, Yayoi Kusama. Now I've done a little art journal page all about Yayoi's art. She was born in 1929, here's a picture of her. And she was known for pop art. And pop art was kind of a movement in art that challenged traditional fine art. So they used a lot of bright colors. And Yayoi here, you can see if you look at like some of her um, paintings, used dots to make her designs. And that's what we're going to do today in our project. You can take a look at the um, piece I did. I did a butterfly. And it's honestly, it's all laid out using dots. So let's take a look at what we're going to need to make it. So you'll need some watercolor paper, oil pastels, some tubes of watercolor uh, pigments, or you can use the cake form, some paintbrushes, water, a palette, and a pencil. So I've gone ahead and I've just really, really, really lightly drawn out my butterfly shape. It's important that you not draw your lines super solid like this, because you're gonna see that through your oil pastel. Once you get your shape uh, drawn out, you can add some antenna. And in the style of Yayoi, you want to add as many dots as you can. So I'm going to add some more polka dots around my butterfly shape. And it's, it takes practice, you guys, to draw lightly. So just keep reminding yourself. And if you accidentally draw too heavy, you can just go over it with your eraser and try to lighten it up before you start coloring in your dots, like that. So I've gone ahead and started making my dot patterns. And you can just pick your favorite color. This is really easy, but essentially you're just gonna go over your lightly drawn lines with your favorite colors to make your outlines. And I'm using these really fun oil pastels. They come in a ton of colors. So I know you're going to find some that you just love to create your art piece. And then you're going to fill in the other areas with different colors. So I've gone ahead and picked like a light green. And you can make all different size dots. I'm doing kind of fine dots. And when you're using oil pastels, the harder you push, the more solid dot you're going to get. Lighter and you're going to see more white coming through. So you get the idea on that. Whoops. So now I've got one completely covered. You can also go around your border. Remember we made those big dots and you can just freehand this a little bit. And add some more dots and you can also outline and kind of blend your colors a little bit and overlap where the blues meet. So just to give you some ideas on how to use oil pastels. Now I've got one ready and we're going to start filling in the white areas with watercolor. So for this part, I've gone ahead and filled in um, or put some uh, watercolor pigment on my palette. Now, so easy, all you have to do is dip your paintbrush in water and then kind of mix the watercolor pigment around on your palette and you're ready to start filling in. Now I'm going to fill in the outside with a blue color. And you can just, the cool thing about oil pastels is you can just paint right on top. And because they're so waxy, the water doesn't want to stick to them. So it's kind of magical like that. And see all those white areas on this blue dot? I can just paint right in and fill those white areas in and I get a really, really cool texture. So we'll just keep going on around. And you can kind of add a little bit more. If you want your colors to be darker, add a little bit more of the solid watercolor pigment. If you want it to be lighter, add more water. It's really easy. But um, if you're nervous about it, just have a piece of scrap watercolor paper laying off to the side. And you can practice before you work on your real piece of Yayoi Kusama inspired art. OK, let's do a little bit on the other side. And then. I'm using cool colors today to paint with because my water or my butterfly is done in brights, uh, yellow, which are warm, warm colors. So let's switch colors. Um, you would go ahead and finish filling in your other 
areas. And then I've chose a bright, bright, bright purple to fill in the butterfly. And you can see that pulls in my light purple polka dots and my piece is starting to take shape. And you're just gonna keep following your dot pattern and filling in. I love how the oil pastels are um, resisting that paint and it's just going right onto my paper and it makes my dots stand out all the more. And just keep filling in those areas. And you could do this in a large size or smaller sizes. You can make your shape recognizable. Let's take a look at the finished one. And you can see I added a little red. And it's just a really fun Yayoi Kusama inspired art piece.